Hey, welcome back to the Museum of Discovery and Science and the Mods YouTube channel. Today we're going to teach you how to make your own parachutes. Welcome to the Mods Hangar. Today I've got one of our Mods makers, Becky, with us. Becky, what are we making today? Today we are making some parachutes, something that you can drop from on high and watch gracefully land. Is this like the same parachute that if I decided to go skydiving or base jumping that I'd probably wear? Same principles. Okay. Um, there are many designs of parachutes. Uh, did you know who invented the parachute? I have no idea. It's Leonardo da Vinci. He was a uh, painter. Yeah. Did you know he was a scientist on the side? He I drew a lot of did stuff. Did not. He made one that's triangle. I bet you haven't seen a triangle one in real life. I probably have not. Well, we can link one into the description and maybe you can build one at home. Okay. So uh, today we're gonna be talking a little bit about physics. Do you uh, know anything about physics? Not really my best subject in school. Okay. So you know that gravity pulls us down to the earth. Oh yeah, if I jump, I come down, right? Right, exactly. So if you jumped out of an airplane without a parachute, you'd be kind of crazy, wouldn't you? Yes. So what happens with the parachute is that it increases air resistance by gently floating down to the earth. And so that you have a lot of resistance so that you don't go down too fast with the gravity. And if I went too fast, let's say I didn't have a big enough parachute, I assume Smack. Okay, got it. Understand. That's very simple. Thank <laughs> All you. Right. So we want to make one? Yeah, show me what, okay. I'm, what I need to do here. So let me tell you the material. So you need something to be the parachute body. I have a coffee filter. Maybe mom and dad drink coffee, but you could also use a paper towel. You could use a piece of old piece of a t-shirt, anything that you can find that kind of will have an air resistance factor. Okay. Next, you need some leads. So I have some pieces of yarn here but you could also use pipe cleaners. You could also use thread or anything that's kind of long. When you say way. leads, do you just mean like the string of? The okay, strings, perfect, the got leads. it. Okay, and fantastic. And then you're gonna need a small weight. We're using our fun astronauts today, but you could use <laughs> anything. You could use washers, you could use matchbox cars. Barbie might be a little bit big, but you could try it. Could I use an egg? You can use an egg as long as mom and dad say okay, and wherever you drop it, it's going to land in some place in case your contraption isn't as good as you So I think better would. advice is maybe a hard-boiled egg. Hard-boiled egg. Okay, perfect. You heard it there. Don't use raw eggs. We're not condoning it. <laughs> All right. So did you know that um, other than the triangle, there are other shapes of parachutes? So you can either have a rectangle parachute or you can have a round parachute. Which one do you want to build today? I think I'm going to go with the round one because okay. I know if I was to free fall, I'd probably want something with a lot of surface area on it. Right. To I'm going to try a rectangle me. one okay. just so we can compare. You can also add anywhere. This one here has four different strings, but the ones that the like paratroopers use have six strings. Okay. So let's go ahead and what you're going to do is take your scissors and make a couple of holes. Now I want to show you that my hole, I'm gonna put the pipe cleaner through it so you can see, is close to the edge, but not on the edge so that okay. you can tie your string through it. And then you're gonna take your string and you're gonna place it through here. And this is where you get to try out your knot skills. Do you like to tie knots? I have no idea other than tying my shoes what I'm doing, so. Well, I'm just tying a simple little overhand <laughs> knot. But if you know a square knot or any kind of fun knot, this is a great time to practice those. I lost the hole. <laughs> I think this is it, nope. You can sometimes feel it with your finger, too. One. <laughs> I really did. <laughs> All right, I'm guessing. OK. All right, and then I'm, I assume I'm going to cut my string into equal pieces, not well, uneven pieces. You can cut your string into almost any size. And then what you do at the end, my pieces weren't even, but what I did was make sure that when I put my weight on it, that they were all even at that point. Gotcha, okay. But it depends on how precise you want to be. So I'm going as fast as I can here. Because I think also you could do some math. Do you like math? I actually is my favorite subject. So how okay. can you incorporate math into this? Well, you could try out different lengths of string. You could measure and then, do you know what graphing is? 
Yes. So graphing is when you kind of take an average of how long maybe it, you could time it and see how long it took to get from one height to the ground. Okay. And then there's something called equations. Do you have that yet? Yeah, no, not there yet. Okay. Well, equations, I guess you start learning about in third or fourth grade. And mm -hmm. what you can do is use those to calculate something that's called velocity. And that's how fast it'll go. I am failing miserably at mine. How are you doing with yours? Okay, so I have four strings. We'll use hers as the example. And I'm going to tie them around this weight. Would you like to use the astronaut example and we can try them out? I think, yeah, sure, that works. I think that's perfect. Look, I, I made one without making one. Okay. <laughs> So, which one do you think is going to hit the table first? Let's hold them up at the same height. Well, I think yours because it weighs more, right? Okay. And three, two, one. <gasps> Maybe they hit the same time. That's wow. kind of close. What do you guys what do think? You think? Why don't you uh, make sure you comment below? So, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Becky. That was Thank absolutely you. a lot of fun. And All we'll right. see you guys next time. All right. Bye. Thank you. Bye. We want to thank the Layton family and Citrix for sponsoring this video. If you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe below.